Well, Capcom has a questionable new game support for Switch, a.k.a. it doesn't really exist. And they are potentially not going to bring Monster Hunter back to Switch in form of in the form of a new game. That doesn't mean they won't port older games, as they have done with Double Cross in Japan, at least. One other port job they are doing is bringing Revelations 1 and 2 to Nintendo Switch. Now, we don't have any of this information confirmed by hands-on stuff, but we do know that someone uh, in Japan wrote an article uh, where they had an interview with Capcom at, an, I think it was a press-only event, uh, and they learned a bunch of things about the game that sounds like Capcom, despite all the criticism that I've, I've given them lately, deserving criticism, has done a really good job porting these two games, those being Resident Evil 1, uh, sorry, those being Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2. So here's the details from that Japanese article. Revelations 1 and 2 are based on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions, rather than obviously 3DS or Wii U or etc. etc. Uh, Joy-Con support with motion control and HD rumble. Joy-Con share play, however, is only available in Revelations 2. All DLC is included at the start. It supports multiple languages in both voice and text. There is local co-op. Revelations features 1080p resolution when playing on a TV and 720p in portable mode. Revelations 1 is 60 frames per second. By holding ZL on the Joy-Con, you can aim your gun with the right Joy-Con's motion control, using the left Joy-Con as a magazine to simulate a reloading motion. Other motion controls include slashing horizontally to simulate a knife attack and swinging for a quick reload. Motion controls are optional and can be set to on or off from the option settings. Motion controls are not supported with the Pro Controller. Classic controls are also available. HD Rumble allows for more detailed and complex vibrations, meaning new kinds of rumble that are not available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions. Revelations 2 also runs at 1080p when playing on TV. 720p in handheld. Revelations 2, however, is not 60 FPS. They do not clarify here if it means 30 FPS or if it's unlocked and it goes above 30. There's just no information. It's just not 60 FPS. And it says, due to fewer buttons available when sharing Joy-Cons, the developers have said that it will have a unique control scheme and they're talking about local co-op uh, where you can use uh, share play, basically. So, this is generally good information. Uh, I'm not surprised the first game is 60 FPS. Second game was made on more powerful hardware than the original, which first released on 3DS. Uh, the fact that it can't be 60 FPS, I don't know. Maybe uh, I probably would have preferred if they dial back the resolution to like 900p on TV mode to hit 60 FPS in Revelations 2. That's maybe the only criticism I have to throw shade here at. But then again, I don't know if Revelations 2 ever ran at 60 FPS. Uh, so maybe the game was just never designed for 60 FPS, so that, that that's why. It's got nothing to do with capabilities of the Switch. Either way, this is awesome. Uh, I never played Revelations 2, and I only played Revelations 1 on 3DS. I am really, really looking forward to playing these games. I know Revelations 1 was really, really good. Uh, I've heard that Revelations 2 was not quite as good, but you know what it is what it is. And obviously this is all a far cry from releasing Resident Evil 7, which has been rumored to be coming to the platform for a while, uh, potentially as VR since Nintendo has uh, a VR headset kind of thing patented, but they're probably never going to release it, uh, especially since 720p is not exactly the best kind of screen to be watching VR through. But whatever, it's it, this is good stuff. I mean, kudos to you, Capcom. Assuming all this is true, it has not been, you know, obviously officially tested. They could say all this stuff and then we test it. And, well, like, Revelations 1 could be 60 FPS. It could be unlocked. And if it's unlocked, maybe it dips down into the 40s or the 30s. We have no idea. But so far, so good. Uh, I know that Capcom also often gets called Crapcom and doesn't necessarily put their best foot forward with Switch. But we have to give kudos where kudos are due. And at least from what we're seeing or hearing about so far with Revelations 1 and 2, uh, they did a good job. So 
I just wanted to point that out. It's in all fairness that I have to admit that Capcom did a decent job getting these games ported, whether they did it themselves or they hired another company such as Panic Button to do it. Uh, yeah, I'm happy about this. And what's even cool about the, the great port job they're doing is the Joy-Con support because that that's something they don't have to do. They could just support standard controls because the Joy-Cons can do standard controls, but they're offering unique motion control and unique HD rumble capabilities that the other consoles don't have. They're, ta- they're trying to take advantage of the Switch. So whatever team is doing it, whether it's at Capcom or an outside company, clearly cares about making these games stand out on Switch in ways that make sense and are optional. So... I, I'm pretty pleased. I, I I gotta say, I mean, good job, good on you, Capcom. Thank you so much for giving these games uh, at least proper treatment. I don't know if this may, is gonna make more people pick them up, uh, but I, they they might just make my list of games that I'm going to be purchasing soon. After all, Resident Evil's One and Two is currently slated to launch on Switch on November 28th, and they're 20 bucks each, so uh, decent pricing. I don't know how that compares to the competition. I, have, I didn't look it up before I made this video, but yeah. Thanks, Capcom, for, for doing a, at least a decent job with the games you are bringing to Switch uh, so far. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Are you guys going to be killing some zombies and trying to survive the horror that is Revelations 1 and 2 later this year? Let me know. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Yes, yes.